Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Renegade Platinum. On the last episode, we uh, finished up the catching we needed to do at the moment by heading off to some certain spots to go do some Poke Radar hunting. Uh, we found Kecleon in Route 210 South. We found Tyrogue in Route 211 East. We found, what was the next one? It's on the tip of my tongue. I know what it is. It was in Route 208. Why can't I remember Dunsparce? Dunsparce Route 208, and Stantler in Route 207, which got our longest chain, but not close enough to even get, you know, not even close enough to get the shiny odds for it, which we needed a chain of 40. We, like, we got the chain of 10 before it broke. I think it was the 2%. It had to be the 2% because it didn't look like it broke any other way. Anyhow, on this episode, we're, we're done. Well, we're done with one thing. We're done with all of these. We have every single Pokemon. Now you notice there's some blanks. This is where unknown goes. We have unknown. We just have them currently separated from everyone else because of their their letters. Uh, we have a Tyranitar. We have Rosa. We have our, uh, we have Brianna, our Shroomish. We have uh, Winnie, our Waylord. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. There's, uh, there's Kendrick, our Empoleon. There's uh, Dwight, our Driftblim. Ooh, we'll get to that. That is Brent, Togekiss. And this is... Trace Gallade. We are missing one Pokemon, but we'll get to that. But I mean, yeah, here's here's Winnie, Trace, Brianna, Dwight. Uh, we got this. This is the only shiny that hatched from an egg. Which you know, I had to hatch like sixty-seven eggs. Kind of shocking. I only got one, but you know, I'll take one. <laughs> I'll take one. So that's what this blank is for. You may be wondering, where are the other ones that were missing? I mean, there's a Charizard right here that's missing. And then there was the, um, there was the Electivire. Well, the, and the Roserade. Well, they're in our party at the moment. Yeah, we got Hawkeye, our Charizard. Because I wanted to get some different Pokemon in the party. See if we can get some spread. Hawkeye is actually Fire Dragon. I did not know that Charizard was Fire Dragon in this game, which is nice. And, and, and has Levitate, so it's completely immune to ground type too. Awesome. Uh, who else? Oh yeah, Edison. I renamed, I, I can't remember what his name, I think it was Edmundo, I, I renamed him. <laughs> Edison the Electivire, because it's electric fighting. And we, did, we, we wanted a Pokemon with fighting type, but we've had Trace and Brown as our, as our uh, false swipers, and then we have James, which was the Badoo I caught that was shiny. Just decided to make it into a Rose Raid. I love how I named it James, but it's a, it's a female. It's a female James. I couldn't name it Jesse. I just named it James because of you know from Team Rocket in the in the in the show, and he always had roses. Well, he's got technician as well. So we'll see how this party goes. But there is one thing. I mean, there's one Pokemon left to get, and I am very curious as how to get it because it's supposed to be the last Pokemon. It's the event Pokemon, but the event was never released in the US. So I don't know how it's gonna tie in. However, there has been one thing that's been bugging me. There's been a type of item I have not got. And I don't know why I haven't got it, but it is related to this Pokemon that we're supposed to find. So, if I could find it, that'd be great. Uh, so I'm curious about one spot, and it's in Heart Home. Because usually whenever there's something that's changed for the ROM hack, there's some new dialogue added to it. And as far as I can remember, there's only one place I haven't been to that has new dialogue, 
So, and it has to do with this, the foreign building. At least that's what it's called. There's no like place, there's no. There's nothing in front of it that like give it the name, but they couldn't call it a church. But we talked with you before and you mentioned the original one. And that wasn't in the original game. So I'm curious what you have to say now that we've beaten the game. Greetings, child. Welcome to this place of worship for that which we call the original one. It is the creator of both our land and the Pokemon found within legends. Mere weaklings like us cannot hope to ever meet the original one. You'd have to be the champion to even stand chance of being worthy. See, I remember this. I remember her saying this. Nevertheless, we continue to offer our gratitude for its blessings. Well, I just so happen to be the champion. Oh, goodness. You're the new champion, aren't you? Perhaps, child, you could be the one to finally meet the original one. But first, you must prove that you have mastery over all Pokemon types. There are 16 type master trainers around Sinnoh, each possessing a plate. Defeat them using the same type in a one-on-one -on -one battle to win the plate. If you gather all 16 of the original one's plates, return here. So there have been an item called plates that was introduced in this game. We should have found a couple. And by a couple, I mean probably all of them. Because we've been very thorough with getting items and routes. Uh, like, I know, I know that the ghost plate was, I think, in the Lost Tower. So the fact that we never found it there, surprising. Ooh, I have no idea where these type trainers are at. <laughs> the fairy type, it is blasphemous. They say that Pixie Plate exists in the Kalos and Alola regions, but we have seen nothing of that sort here. It must be lies. Nothing but lies, 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 lies. The original one is said to have a move called Judgment. The original one releases countless shots of light of any type it wishes. It is undoubtedly an all-powerful move. Can anything withstand that power? Yes. The original one, do you think it ever needs to rest? Then you know the plate items are not one of a kind. Rumors say that they can be found by digging in the underground. Have you ever heard of the plate items? There are 16 in all, each one representing a specific type. The original one is said to be able to change its type by equipping a plate. There's no normal type plate though. There hasn't been any sign of a fairy type plate in Sinnoh either. The Hall of Origin. It said that the Hall of Origin is the home of the original one. We believe it exists in the sky above the very peak of Mount Coronet. That is why we observe the mountain peak on the stained glass window. Yep. Okay, so I have no idea where any of these type trainers are at. I'm also scared because they're supposed to where they're supposed to be uh a one-on-one -on -one fight with our type. So I guess we're using these guys for whatever type we have. So what type would you be? I guess I guess, I guess it's gonna go off your first type. So fire, rock, grass, electric, fairy. Ooh, that means I can't use Brent, because Brent is fairy. Kendra could be water. I mean I could I could look up. I could look up where they are on the on the uh, documentation just to help. Okay, I'm actually gonna look this up. Let me, uh... I didn't mean to surf. Let's just see. You know, let's start at the beginning. Maybe maybe there's someone around here while I load up the documentation. Is anyone in Route 201? Ooh, how will I be able to tell? Will I remember who, who has been here or not? There's been no documentation about new people in like the routes. Otherwise I would have been surprised. That's not a, oh, my, my things are glitched. I should repel up. Yeah, that guy's not new. Oh, that guy, yeah, that guy's not new. That guy's not new. I 
I'm now scared that I have to do 16 fights. I definitely don't have Pokemon for every 16 types. So I'm gonna have to train some of them. Let's see, I have water, rock, fire, electric, grass, psychic, ghost. I have set I have seven types. That are at level 100. So I'm scared as to who else could be at level 100. Anyone down here? I don't think there's people down here. Wait, wait, wait. I'm the water type master. I am to find the ultimate water type. Come at me with only a single Pokemon in your party if you want to battle me. Oh, and there's one other condition. That Pokemon must be a water type. All right, let's get a read on how difficult these are going to be. You got this, Kendrick. The only problem is if they have a fighting type move because you'll break like glass. I'm glad we found one of them. I opened up the notepad. I haven't bothered to open up the documentation. I'll do it during the fight. Oop, eep, oop. Okay. Kendrick, how's this gonna go? Maybe I should save before I fight it. Because the last thing I want is to lose like half of my money. Let's just speed this up. There we go. All right, your water type looks pretty strong. Should we find out who has the ultimate water type Pokemon? Sure. Time for a water type battle. Ooh. Level 85, huh? Okay. We're a little bit a little bit of a problem with Ludicolo. Just because it's grass type. I mean, no, ice doesn't work on it. Flying poison and bug work on it. Put it to sleep. I'm faster? I hope it doesn't hit me with like a... Okay, it's hitting me with Bleach Eat. So we're both doing setups. All right. It's going to try and Leech Seed stall me. I don't want that to happen. All right, so water's going to be a fourth effective. And steel is half effective. So Ice Beam's my only move. Maybe you can just faint it. Like, maybe that's a crit hit. Ooh, it was. Ooh, that hurts. Wait, does it? It does hurt. Aha. Oh, you've got to be joking. All right, it has leech seed. Do I risk the ice beam despite the fact I'm paralyzed? I will. It was faster than me because of the Paralyze. Oh, sweet. If I would have missed, I would have been upset. But I would have probably just used the full restore. Yay! Amazing. You have the ultimate water type. I actually get money from this? Oh, wow. It seems the ultimate water type Pokemon belongs to you. That means you are the rightful owner of this precious item. There's our first plate. There is text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. Thank you for a great water type Pokemon battle. All right, well, that's one of the fights. Here's a problem. There's no way I'm gonna get these all done in one episode. Okay, let's find the fire one. Cause I can use, I could use, uh,
I can use Hawkeye to fly there. No, go down there. There you go. Ooh, you have no item. Maybe I should give you an item to hold. Yeah, there's the splash plate. It is a stone tablet that boosts the power of water type Pokemon. So it's basically the exact same thing as a Mystic Water. No, let's not throw that away. Okay, Flame Plate, Route 226. It's way up here. If I want to continue going forward, which one would have been the next one I found? Uh, insect Plate, that was just above Sand Gym Town. So there should be a person like right over here somewhere. Oh, it's you. Let me just do this quickly. <laughs> Put it in safe slot three. I'm the fire type master. I aim to find the ultimate fire type. Your fire type looks pretty strong. Can we find out who has the ultimate fire type Pokemon? Sure. I might be cheating a little bit. Edmund. Okay, I gotta worry. No, I don't have to worry about rock. Hi, Macargo. So Macargo is fire rock, which means it takes four times from ground and water. Ooh, I should have taught you earthquake. Darn it! You take you take your you take twenty five percent for flamethrower. You take half from flying, and you take normal from dragon. So dragon pulse is the only move I really have. As for me. I'm weak to gra I'm weak to rock and dragon, and you're rock type, so I'm a little scared. That's a rock type move. Got this, Hawkeye. See? All right, so these ones weren't so bad. I'm now a little scared of the ones that I don't have. Amazing, you have the ultimate fire type. Oh, wow. I think the ultimate fire type Pokemon belongs to you. It means you are the rightful owner of this precious item. The power of defeated giants infuses this plate. Thank you for a great fire type Pokemon battle. All right, that's, that's two down. Who do I fight next? I mean, I guess we could go to, we could go to electric type. Which one of my electric types would be better, May or Edison? We haven't used Edison in a battle yet. Hold on, I should actually fly there first. The electric one is located in Sunny Shore City. I can at least get these first couple ones done. Let's go with Edison, just because he's never been used. So it says, he, it says they're located at the lighthouse. I think it's down here. Which one of you is it? Probably this guy. <laughs> I'm just saving before all the fights so far. I'm the electric type master. I aim to find the ultimate electric type. The electric type looks pretty strong. So we find out who has the ultimate electric type Pokemon. 
I should bring this, I should bring Edison to the fighting type and see if it works. Tars Elton. Ooh, we have the same Pokemon. My entire level. Okay, so electric fighting. Ground, Psychic, and Fairy. Ah, uh, I thought I taught you. I thought I taught you Earthquake. No, I taught you Magnet Rise. So I can't be affected by ground type moves for the next five time, five turns. Woo! 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 That was close. Okay, Thunder Punch will not work. So, uh, Brick Break is my best move. I'm glad I taught you Magnet Rise. Oh, come on. You gotta one hit KO them. I need, I need one of them to fall in one hit. Not me. Right, Edison? Not me? Okay, good. It was another choice of do I want to teach them close combat or do I want to teach them brick break? Amazing, you have the ultimate electric type. Oh, that's not a lot of money. Oh, wow. The ultimate electric type Pokemon belongs to you. It means you are the rightful owner of this precious item. Text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. All right. That's three plates done. Out of the 16, we got a fine. Huh. <laughs> I'm trying to think how this is going to work now in terms of like episodes. We could do four per. Because I gotta, I, now I gotta train. And I gotta train some more Pokemon. Although, you know what? We'll do a test right now. Instead of heading to the next one, which would be grass, let's head over to the fighting type one to see if I can use, if I can use uh, Edison. It might not be the best fighting type Pokemon I could use. In fact, I probably should use Trace instead. If that's a, if that's a, an availability. Ooh. So maybe I'll maybe I'll grab Trace. Since Trace is psychic fighting. I'm sure the psychic would really help. Ooh, but would they go with a dark fighting Pokemon or something? I sound awful. <laughs> I hate that in the middle of me doing like all the all the egg hatching I needed to do, I got sick. So I've been I've been sick for like five days now. Ugh. I sound awful. Uh, where's the fighting type? Veilstone City, house south, just to, just to the gym. Oh, so so these are, these are starting to make a little bit of sense, at least where their placements are. The water type was next to the ocean, and like the best chance of like ocean we have, I guess. All right, this will be the ultimate test because I don't have a, I don't have a Pokemon that's pure fighting type that I could use. So if this doesn't work, I gotta find someone that will work. So how south of the gym, huh? This house then. They can be indoors. I'm the fighting type master. I've aimed to find the ultimate fighting type. It does count. Your fighting type looks pretty strong. Should we find out who has the ultimate fighting type Pokemon? Sure. Time for a fighting type battle. So secondary types work. That's good to know. Ooh, boy, we're just geniuses, aren't we? 
All right, psychic fighting. You're weak to flying ghost and fairy. It'd be very nice if I had a fairy type move. Don't use close combat. Use hypnosis. Oh, I didn't save before this one. No, I'm pl I'm paralyzed. Ooh, I'm getting womboed. Darn it, 66%. <laughs> Darn it! Even with my scope lens. Okay, I gotta I gotta I gotta status heal me. I don't know if this cures my my confusion. I'm about to be hit by something. Alright, I can take it. Maybe I should psycho cut him before I uh I lose too much health. Tell me how to crit. Ah. I'm gonna risk it. It missed. I didn't. Amazing, you have the ultimate fighting type. Oh, wow. Seems the ultimate fighting type Pokemon belongs to you. It means you're the rightful owner of this precious item. We got the fist plate. Three beings were born to bind time and space. All right, that gives us four of the plates. That's a, that's a, that's a fourth of all the plates. Because there's only... There's technically 18 plates, but in this game, there's only 16 because two of them haven't been introduced yet. The fairy plate, the one we've been hearing about, the cut, the one that the guy says is blasphemous. That's not introduced until the fairy type is formally introduced in generation six. And then there's another, there's another plate that gets added in generation eight. Wait, I can't move you until one of you get back in here. All right, so we have Charizard as our dragon then. I could use Brent as our flying. That'll be nice. I'm afraid to see what flying type Pokemon it's going to be. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. Ooh, okay, so I got to plan things now. Things are different. We'll spend, we'll spend several episodes doing this. I mean, we got four more to do next part. Uh, and we probably should be able to do them all without having to train any Pokemon at the moment. Because what we have, uh, we got that one, got that one. We have the grass type plate to go do. We have the dragon plate we can go do. We have the dark plate. We have the steel plate. Oh, I better not, I better not use Kendrick for the steel plate. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about what's going to happen with Kendrick if I do... I might need to train a steel Pokemon. Yeah, we have we have flying, we have dark, we have dragon, we have grass and poison, we have ghost, we have psychic. We have a lot of types we can go do. So um, until next time. Hopefully you enjoy.